Hello, hello, it's Thomas and Julie Davison from Julie Davison Stamp and Spot here on YouTube. Today we'll be sharing some alternative projects using the February 2022 Safari Celebration Paper Pumpkin Kit. Thomas, you did an unboxing about a week ago. Why don't you show everybody the original design of the Paper Pumpkin projects from this kit? Yep, so these are the cards that I made. And if you missed that video, just uh, check the R code up here or in the link in the description below. Uh, but here we have the classic roller skating elephant with the <laughs> you are so amazing sentiment. We have the um, the hula hooping monkey with the you did it, let's celebrate sentiment. And then the gazelle with congratulations. These cards are so stinking cute. One of my favorite things about Paper Pumpkin, though, is creating bonus projects. I love all the little pieces, the tags and the die cuts and the vellum sure. and the layers and the envelopes to cut apart. So in today's video, we're going to show you all the bonus projects that we made using the leftover pieces from... We actually, we got two paper pumpkin kits, so we couldn't get enough of all help. these cute animals. So the pieces, all the cards that we're going to show you today did come from more than one paper pumpkin kit. But we hope that these ideas will inspire you to use the leftover pieces in your kit to create some bonus cards. All right, well, we're going to start with Anna because paper pumpkin is kind of a, a family thing. We all love to create with paper pumpkin, and Anna's no exception. Anna is... Um, going on 12 years old and she made two projects using pieces from the paper pumpkins. So uh, one of the things we do when we sit down and make paper pumpkin alternative projects is we cut apart the cards, the envelopes, we, we get card bases and the coordinating colors. And so Anna had a lot of fun just taking some of the scrap pieces and just sort of like making a, a geometric design. Yeah. This one, Anna, is my favorite. Tell us about the background here. So on this one, um, I saw I saw this piece and we had we had like taken all the pieces that had like stuff like this and they punched them all out so we were left with like this and I was like hmm I want to make out of that. I love how it's really subtle in the background and then this very simple like um, cluster of stuff in the corner like I love that I think I would have been tempted maybe to add more down here but I like that that space is kind of empty this one is my favorite card I love them both but <laughs> but I just sure. really love how fresh that one is and yeah. the colors in this paper pumpkin kit are so fantastic True. yeah so vibrant do you remember what the colors are Thomas I remember one of them <laughs> which one do you remember succulent yeah, soft succulent. Soft, soft that's succulent. that's this bluish green color. And Anna, do you know any of the colors? No. That's okay. So the light purple is fresh freesia. The dark purple is rich raspberry. And then the more green green is pear pizzazz. And the yellow is crushed curry or bumblebee. They're so close. I never know. I think it's actually bumblebee. Okay, well, this card that Anna made using the die cut reminded me of a card that Claire made. She couldn't join us on the video because she's at softball practice, but she did a similar thing. She used the leftover piece here, and I actually had cut that out and was thinking about doing something with it, but didn't. And she was just playing around, and she created a bow tie for the gazelle. And she, <laughs> she just had so much fun with that. So she just kind of glued that down on there. It is a very 3D card, so that's going to need some extra posting for sure yeah. now the happy birthday stamp that's in this set is really really long and Claire was struggling to have something to fit in this space so she stamped the happy and then cleaned it and then inked up the birthday so that she could have both words on there and take up a little bit less space Claire was also working on, I gotta be careful bringing this one in. She was working on another card, uh, but she didn't get to finish gluing it down yet. So this is from the envelope. We love cutting apart the envelope liner. So actually both of those background pieces are envelope liners. And then Claire just had some fun kind of making the different compositions. <laughs> yeah, nothing's glued down on this one yet. It's still, it's still in progress. Okay, Thomas, you wanna show us what you made? I... I, well, I made two cards, but I'm only going to show one card for now. So I made <laughs> I made this card uh, with the roller skating elephant, and then I sort of wanted to – I sort of realized that I could use this uh, strip to, like, imitate uh, – like, you know in cartoons how, like, when you run fast, there are these lines that uh, follow you as you run? I sort of wanted to imitate that with this, um, with this label here, and then let's celebrate. Uh, I chose this sentiment just because it's nice and long, and it, it'll fit uh, that label. Um, so, and then my 
uh, girlfriends came over as we were making cards, and so we she made some cards. What I love about this is this was Elise's first time making cards. Yeah. It was kind of fun to like experience that, <laughs> that through her, you know, watching her put ink to paper and she's very creative and artsy. So it was really fun to kind of um, see how she, how she put together all the different materials. For sure. So she really liked the cupcakes. I'm not sure if you can tell. <laughs> Lots of cupcakes here. There's cupcakes over here. Uh, this one, I, I really like uh, how these kind of, the, the stripes just kind of go everywhere in this card. Uh, and they cut off, it looks super clean all around the edges. I think it frames the elements in the center really nicely. That's Yeah, that's another good point. Uh, this one, Elise specifically described as a portal to the cupcake uh, dimension. <laughs> She was very clear to point that out in this video, so oh I want to make sure. So these were all the little embellishments that were inside the kit. And they're really close to the faux sea glass that's available in the January through June catalog. And so she just went to town. These are like cupcake sprinkles, I think, right? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, this last card here. You know, uh, hold on one second. Oh. I got to point this out because so uh, Elise cut apart a bigger die cut. I think it was like one of the um the one of the hexagon die cuts. Yeah, yeah the but I ha the thing I have to point out where did Anna's card go? Uh, over there. So um, Elise used pieces here, like the corners, and that left this piece here that Anna then ended up incorporating oh, onto her card. So okay. I just kind of wanted to show like that that came from the same I just piece. Well, like, only one side this is like had the little thing I was like don't yeah. know what sides have Yeah there's stitching here and here but these are the the ends that Elise had cut off for her card. So anyway I wanted to point that out. <laughs> and then we have the um monkey hula hooping in the background with the leaves and then a nice little uh color blocked yellow strip there. Um I yeah. love it. Elise did such I a good job. I, I hope that she'll join us next time in making some paper pumpkin projects. For sure. All right. Are you ready to share your demonstration? Yes. So I got, well, multiple cards in the mail, but one of the cards that I really <laughs> liked was Catherine's uh, card. Carolyn Ketchmark. <laughs> it's okay. I really liked Carolyn's card. Um, and mom was actually telling me this is a, like a special type of card, right? Because uh, it's a bridge card, and mm -hmm. like this little strip here is sort of like the bridge, right? Uh, so I wanted to make that card with this uh, paper pumpkin materials. I like that this card folds flat, so you can fit it in a regular envelope. Yes, for sure. It's not like completely three D because you can. Yeah, and then and then it like pops up to be a diorama. Yeah, exactly. All right. Can I say something super fast? Sure. Um, when you all got that card, you like um you pulled out of the envelope, and it was like this. And you were like really confused, <laughs> and then I, I, I remember like mom walked over and she was like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's bring in all your pieces. Uh, okay, so I I sort of jumped the gun a little and did the did the base, but you're gonna score. You're gonna, you're gonna cut it at uh, eight and a fourth inch by four and a fourth inch and you're going to score it at uh one and three eighths inch two and three fourths inch five and a half inches and six and seven eighths inches these dimensions will be in the link in the description below don't worry you don't have to memorize them uh, and then for these pieces here i just um cut it to the dimension of these uh various rectangles but minus um an eighth of an inch that way you have this little border around here and it's not completely covering it um then in order to make this little bridge piece, I cut it at uh, one and one fourth inch by five and a half inch. That way uh, it spans this entire length of the card, as you can see here, right? Because you need to fold it flat in order to uh, fit it in the envelope. Mm -hmm. um, so let's, let's finish making this card. So I will put some, oh, gotta roll this up. Put some adhesive on either side of this rectangle and then we will glue it down. I will glue it down just slightly off of the end of that card. Hmm. What, you don't like it? 
No, I was just thinking if you're going to stamp on it, you probably should stamp before you glue it down. Oh, that's a very good point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's, that's good. That's okay. We caught it. It wasn't a huge mistake. So here's what we're going to do. You have adhesive on it. So if we put the adhesive on the plastic, then Ooh, nice. uh, it should peel up pretty easy. So which stamp are we going to use? Uh, so I'm going to use the You Are So and then the Amazing Stamp. So let's get those stamps out. I wanted to find um, a combination of stamps that would fit uh, across this pretty nicely because most of these stamps are actually um, pretty big for the elements given to you. Uh, and I wanted to fit this uh, monkey on it as well. So I needed it to fit in this pretty specific space. Uh, luckily you are so and amazing fit that, fit those requirements. So let's stamp that on there. Oh, that's a little bold, but. This little ink pod is really juicy. Yeah. I noticed that when I was stamping that. It was very, very juicy. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> you got the squeaky chair. <laughs> yes. All right, so now let's take this off. And now we'll put it onto the card. Then I put adhesive on either end, but not in the middle, right? So that way I don't close the entire card down and I just stick it on these two ends. So we go, there's our bridge. And now I'm realizing that I probably should have put these leaves in the middle on before I put the bridge on. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, and then let's get some... Stamp dimensionals are to your left, yeah. as well as the liquid glue, which might be the easiest way to attach the leaves, I think. Mm -hmm. Get some of these on the monkey. Um, just quickly readjusting these so it fits better on the fits better on the card. That's a good point. You don't want your stamp of dimensionals to be hanging over um, on the bridge or else it would glue your card closed. That would not be any good. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. There we go. And then uh, I'm doing this in the complete wrong order. <laughs> That's uh, okay. Liquid glue. Oh, Let's you, get can, this you can still get it in there. Uh, this did not come in the paper pumpkin, obviously, but you can still use glue dots to get... Yes, absolutely. You can use the glue dots. And, and that's what you're supposed to use in the kit, but... Um, I always use other adhesive after I get my paper pumpkin kit. These leaves are so much fun. For but sure. This So this next one, I, you have to tell everybody what we did because it's a little bit different. It's not oh, just yeah. uh, the regular die cut. So you took... So I was a little inspired by Anna using the leftover like punch out paper. Um, from the circle labels. So I wanted to cut out one of these outlines for the leaves uh, and use it in a card. So I cut out this light purple uh, outline and now we're gonna glue it down in the back of this card. This liquid glue, I'm really just trying to go around the edges. Yeah, you don't need a lot of the liquid glue. You just don't? Like, okay, so that's Yeah, just good. a few dots in strategic places. Okay. Maybe one here and one at the end. Uh, maybe not one at the end. And then I feel like probably glue this one down. Oh. That's okay. The glue will dry. Okay. This one. Yeah, okay, that was a lot of glue. <laughs> it is coming from the edges. You might not be able to see it on camera, but. Less is more. It'll dry and it'll be fine. This is such a fun card. But yes, this is the bridge card that I came up with. Again, I was inspired by 
uh, Carolyn's bridge card. Okay, so really quick, bring Carolyn's back in. Um, on the back, hers is just vanilla, um, but that would be a place where you could write. So you could go back and add a panel of white or vanilla cardstock back mm. here so okay. that you can write the message uh, when sending the card. Awesome. Hey, nice job, Tom. <laughs> bring bring your cards back in here, your cute elephant and your, um, <laughs> your hula so hooping the, monkey. These are my two cards. The classic skating the elephant. The classic skating elephant. Skating yes, elephant. Thank you, <laughs> I love it. Okay, it's my turn. Yay! I do love paper pumpkins. I'm going to show you some of the alternative projects I made, and then I do have one I'm going to demonstrate for you as well. So here's one with that cute monkey, and I added some of the embellishments, that those faux sea glass um, embellishments to the card as well. And then here's one where I just used the stamps. I brought in the rectangular postage punch um, and then cut apart one of the card fronts to add onto a card layer here. Really love the, um, the color combination. Again, rich raspberry, soft succulent, and fresh freesia. Here's one, I'm loving this layout with the gazelle. I used a piece of the card front, a piece of the envelope, and I did a similar thing as Claire did with the stamp. So I um, inked up the U and then I cleaned it and then the did it so I could combine them into a smaller space. Mm -hmm. And then my last one that is pre-made already using the elephant. I, um, oh, this, this vellum layer, um, I wanted to put it behind the die cut, but it was not long enough. I'm trying to reach and grab it. Um, so I actually just cut the vellum in half and then glued it behind the die cut so you could see it on, on either side. So there you can see the the new size and the, the old size and added some more of those embellishments as well. Okay, so the card I'm gonna show you today and demonstrate uh, was inspired by this card from, Qu Qu I can't talk, Chris McQuaid. She sent this in for the great big card swap and it, it's kind of like a little fun fold. So you see the window on the front and then when you open it up, it kind of has this fun, um, fold out like that. So I thought that was super fun and I wanted to do that with the um, Safari Celebration Kit. So I've got some pieces that are pre-cut and ready to go. So I'm starting with the Rich Razzleberry um, card base and I used the Stitched So Sweetly dies to die cut a scallop rectangle but otherwise that's just a regular card front. And then I took one of the card bases from the kit and normally it would be like this and I folded it back the other way and then folded it in half back. And I actually cut it down so that the, um, the finished size folded was four by five and a quarter so that it would fit inside the card base with a little bit of, um, little bit of space all around. So I'm gonna use some adhesive and add that to the inside of the card. And I have a piece to go inside that is three and a quarter by four and a half. I cut it a little bit smaller so that I would have some of that fun pattern showing all the way around the edges. And then just for a little accent, we're going to use the die cut leaf. And so I'm gonna add some glue and flip that over. And I'm gonna kind of overlap so that um, it's going off the edge of the cardstock. So when this is closed, um, it will still be peeking through there. Now this next part, I'm gonna close the card for, and this part is the monkey. So I, um, I added the die cut I use the same die cut to die cut white cardstock as I did to die cut the front. And so this pieces together right in there like a puzzle. And this is going to go right here onto the purple cardstock. And so I'm going to put the adhesive right on that purple cardstock so that I don't accidentally use too much. <laughs> I don't want to glue the card close. And then I'm just going to lay it inside. Um, so that it, it adheres to the inside. So when this is open like that, you see a little peak of that leaf and then it opens up and you can see the let's celebrate. From the front, 
He's mostly going to show through, but I wanted to add some additional embellishments. So I cut a frame from the designer paper that came in the envelope. Now, what I did is I just took it and I cut it down to um, three and three quarter inches by uh, five inches. And then I used the um, paper cutter to uh, cut out the middle. And that was just sort of moving, move it around on the paper cutter with a half inch border and cutting the inside down to a half an inch. It sounds complicated. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to visualize it. Uh, it it's just it's a cool. little tedious, but um, I wanted just to kind of frame with some color. Um, and I couldn't, you know, do the whole thing because we have this peeking through from the inside. So now we've just got sort of that pop of color. And I always feel like cards are naked without words in, you know, on the front. Mm -hmm. So I have the happy birthday on the little die cut. And this I'm only gonna glue to the front. I don't wanna have any adhesive um, that would restrict the card from opening. So I'm actually going to use, I think, some Stampin' Dimensionals on either end. And I want to attach these to the back of the um of the the banner so i'm going to kind of arrange them i put some regular adhesive down there and i don't have my stampin up scissors <laughs> i'm just gonna trim those off the ends and then tom you've got my stampin dimensionals thank you one on either end and that should keep it from from interfering with that middle yeah okay so close the card happy birthday and then yeah. how nice. fun is that do you awesome. like it yeah <laughs> okay so uh there are all of my cards i really had a lot of fun and uh i well i just couldn't stop <laughs> <laughs> I also really loved the way that Rich Razzleberry, I, four of my cards were using the Rich Razzleberry color on there, but it was just, it goes so well with, yeah, with such everything. Yeah, a nice base color. Yeah. So. Well, I hope that you enjoyed all of the Paper Pumpkin alternative yes. projects that we shared. I cannot wait for next month. Well, I guess it's this month now. Yes, <laughs> this was I mean, February, but, but the next month is really this month. And so Tom's got a little sneak peek of that. Yeah, so once again, the, the Beyond the Horizon kit is coming out soon. If you subscribe with me by March 10th, you'll be able to receive it this month. And it comes with a free bonus stamp set. I'm so excited about that. Yes. So March 10th is this Thursday. And then usually they bill a couple days after that. So they bill around like the 11th or the 12th. And then the cards are mailed out after that. So get in on it right now For and sure. then it'll be shipping and billing really soon yes this link will be in the description below if you want to order from me uh, it's also tinyurl.com slash paper pumpkin tom so that's it for Paper yes. Pumpkin this time. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed the projects that we shared. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future Paper Pumpkin videos. See you next time. <laughs>